Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the little black shag, sleek, black plumage seabirds that are increasing in number after being comparatively recent arrivals. I hope you enjoy. Little black shags are small birds which run 60 through 65 centimeters in length and weighing around 100 grams, which as is evident, have all black plumage with a greenish gloss, with the juveniles being similar, although being more brownish. Their breezing plumage differs, in that white feathers appear irregularly around their head and neck, with a whitish eyebrow being evident. They are most similar to black and little shags, although there are some noticeable differences. Little black shags are similar in size to little shags, although they lack any white plumage, and have relatively short tails by comparison, with their general proportions also being very different. They are also much smaller than black shags, and lack their yellow facial skin, with the iris being a much brighter green than other shag species. They occur in harbours, lakes and estuaries, and will routinely forage in gregarious flocks, being mainly found in Australia, and Bing believes to have only recently arrived in New Zealand. First reported of in 1840, their distribution has spread throughout the North Island and now down to parts of the South, and they have been noticed to be continually increasing. Their breeding occurs through colonial colonies between late October and December, with them sometimes nesting alongside other shag species. Their nests are an open platform of sticks and twigs, with them being lined with leaves and grass and trees overhanging freshwater environments. Their two to five pale bluish green eggs are laid two days apart, with both sexes sharing in incubation. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Bellbird, the most widespread and familiar honey eaters in the country, with their song being a staple of the New Zealand Bird Song Chorus. With that, I'll see you next time whenever that's maybe.